Let's talk about function. Function in simple words is a rule that for every input there is exactly one output. Let us talk about an example and how to represent a simple real-life situation into a function. Okay, let's do that. Suppose you want a prepared mobile, prepared phone, which cost 0 0.12 dollars or 12 cents per minute for a call. Okay, then what is the total cost that you will pay for the services of the phone? Okay, and let us consider. Uh, let us consider this is number of minutes and the total cost. So here, here you can see that if you call for let's say 100 minutes in a month, okay, then the total cost that you need to uh, incur is that you incur is 0 0.12 dollars times 100, right? Which is simply 12 dollars. Simply, if you go for 200 then this should be 0 0.12 times 200 equals to 24 dollars and so on 300 0 0.12 times 300 so that's 36 dollars and so on it goes in this way okay uh, let me just write down the fourth one 0 0.12 times 400 now here you can clearly see that the total cost or the total price that you must pay for the phone call or the phone service is directly dependent upon the number of minutes that you use for the phone per month okay which can be written as if you consider this number of minutes to be x then the and the cost would be defined as y then this entire setup can be represented as this model y equals to 0 0.12 times x so this would be the model which models the monthly cost of the prepared phone service that you have and this also can be written as y equals to f of x simply meaning function of x where x is the number of minutes that you used in a month okay equals to 0 0.12 times x this x is the input and it is also known as the independent variable independent variable whereas this y is the output and it is dependent variable all right so this is how we understand function i hope you understood how we can model a simple real life experience into mathematical sense okay since we now have an idea of a function what a function is it's quite relevant to talk about domain and range of function. Simply, we can think that domain and range would be the uh, would be the first and the second function, uh, second set. Okay, but practically, we can understand the domain is the set of all possible inputs. All the collection of inputs is the domain or all the x values. And range is the all possible outputs or the y values. Let's suppose you rent a taxi. So let's suppose $4 is your initial fee. Uh, whenever you get inside the taxi, it is charged. And whenever you drive a mile, it is $2 per mile, okay? So then the total cost would be simply the fixed cost plus the variable cost. So here, total cost, let us suppose the total cost would be Y, okay? And let us suppose that the total miles traveled be x right then the fixed cost is simply four dollars no matter if you hire a taxi and if you just hop in the, on, into the taxi then you will be immediately charged four dollars that's our assumption and after that you'll be charged two miles two dollars per mile that means if you travel for x miles then you'll be charged two x okay now this can be written as y equals to f of x equals to 4 plus 2x. So that's the function which governs the total cost that you must incur if you rent a taxi. We can clearly understand what is the domain and what is the range of this function. So domain 
would be simply all the values that can that x can choose the or x can have so it would be simply x is greater than or equal to zero so no matter what if you don't travel but you have already rented a taxi that means you will be liable to pay four dollars okay so that's fine but can you travel uh, can you travel negative two miles or negative four miles is that possible no that's not possible we always go for x is greater than or equal to zero range is simply you plug in this value the least value in here so if you plug in f of zero okay if you go for f of zero if you travel for zero miles then it would be simply four plus two times zero is zero which is four or least amount of price that you would be paying would be four dollars so that would be y is greater than or equals to four so this is domain and range now this is a very simple way to understand domain and range now this is quite easy to realize what is the domain and what is the range now let's go for slightly advanced example using the real life experience let's suppose we are going to a theme park where the entry fee is five dollars per person the cost of fun ride is three dollars per ride then let us consider that the total cost is y total number of fun rides is x then we can come up with an equation which models this situation okay so you can see that as we go for more fun rides then our cost would be increased okay so then the total cost would be simply fixed cost plus variable cost so in this case total cost is y and fixed cost is simply five dollars that's the entry fee okay and variable cost is it changes according to how many rides you took okay so that would be simply three times the total number of rides so this is simply y equals to f of x the function equals to five plus three x so that's our model which governs the total cost for the total fund rights that we did that one individual did in a day let's say okay so this is the function now you can clearly see what is the domain what is the range okay now let's go for domain you can just go to the theme park you may not be interested in fund ride then the do uh, then this would be zero fund rides if someone just goes for one fund ride then you can go for x equals to one and x equals to two three and so on okay it goes in this way this is the domain now let me ask you well I wrote down this as fun right now let me ask you okay can we go for negative number of fun rides of course not and can we go for let's say 0 0.5 fun ride well that might not be possible okay or 2.75 fun rides that may not be possible and the range will be according to what we have in the domain okay so let's plug in this zero in here so that would be simply okay so this would be for zero fun rides we would just go for f of zero which would be five plus three times zero is five plus zero is five for one fun ride that would be simply five plus three times one which is five plus three is eight f of two that means two fun rides five plus three plus two 3 times 2 is 5 plus 6 which is 11 and so on it goes in this way so our range would be 5 8 11 14 and so on okay so this is the range so we must be careful of about what kinds of numbers should we choose and what kind of numbers will we be able to choose so that's why domain is quite important